Hello and uh, welcome to all of you. I just have to get control of all the technical stuff here. Uh, yes, like this. And welcome to this uh, live, uh, Facebook Live, where I will uh, give you some introductions and some perspectives about empathy. Because the question we will, or the theme we would like to present here is all about, do you know some difficult peoples? Are there some type of people you have difficulties being around? Because this is the topic for today. And I have, or I can, of course, uh, relate to that. And I also know some people that I'm quite aware of that it's quite difficult to be around. But after I've started to apply the seven types, it has become much more easier to understand people, their motivations, and where they come from. And today I have invited Kayane, my dear wife. Uh, she uh, could be here anyway on a very short notice. So I'm just very happy to uh, include her today. And uh, you also work with the uh, typology. I do, yeah. yeah. So uh, lovely to, to be here with you, Kenneth. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyone listening in, please say hello so we know that you are there. Mm. And Kenneth, wouldn't it be really fun to see where people are? Yeah. Like, are you in, I mean, we're in Oslo. So mm. are you in Norway, Denmark, the States or Italy, so, perhaps? Yeah. Or uh. Australia, wherever. Yeah. So it would be super fun if, if you could tell us in the common field yeah. where you are. Great. Uh, so what we would like to introduce today is just a very brief introduction to the seven types. And uh, we, all, we all know how it, how it is to be around people that uh, annoy us in some way. It could actually be our children, it could be our partners, it could be family members, it can be people we work with or just our neighbors. Anyone, some people, some people just seem to annoy us. It's difficult being around them. And very often it's because we don't know their world. We don't know where they come from. Their qualities, their psychological qualities are perhaps very different from, from ours. And here the seven types offer us a very, very a good way of understanding diversity and see the unique qualities of people, also people that are very difficult uh, from ourselves. Can you relate to that, Kayana? So much, mm. uh, Kenneth. And I just maybe want to, because you talked about the seven types, and I guess some of you know what the seven types are, but probably most of you don't know what the seven types are. And there's several types of typology. You have, you can say you have astrology, you have this anagram. So, you know, I know you will show more uh, inside this book mm. later, but just that Kenneth has just written this book called The Seven Types and it's um, uh, psychosynthesis typology. Mm. And so I just wanted to, to just give like, uh, so you know what we are talking about and I can, so relate to what you say, Kenneth, mm. that I get some people and sometimes I notice it's like the same type of people that really can trigger me. Yeah. And um, I guess knowing about types or typology, I guess it's good to say that this is one typology. Maybe mm. you already have a typology. I know a lot of people are into Enneagram, into astrology. So maybe you already have a type of mm. uh, typology, you know, mm. maybe it's something you already use. So, but I think Kenneth, if you know one type of typology, it's easier to understand a different yes. type of uh, typology. Mm. And I love your intention or your approach, Kenneth, that you can use typology to actually um better understand your own triggers your own reactions because mm. of course it can also be i guess a little bit limiting to pe mm. to put people into boxes mm. but if you have the right intention it's mm. a way of understanding okay this type 
it's so much the opposite of my type mm. and so this people this person is really triggering me and at least i think that you know my approach is that okay maybe if i integrate some more of that type mm. maybe it will be easier for me to relate to that exactly. person and and perhaps here from the very start we should uh, i should like to say that uh, we are not labeling people. Uh, it's very important that we are not boxing people in only one type because this is a very limiting approach. The seven type is actually unique because we, we say that we have all the seven types uh, within us, but some of them are more developed than others. And another very unique feature about the seven types is that we have the, t the seven types on five different levels. So we all have a unique body type because we can see that bodies are different. And so our body type can be one of seven different types. We also have a different temperament, uh, seven uh, different feeling types because we react differently. And we also have a, a different mental type or thinking type because we think and communicate differently. And we have uh, different personality types and personality types is actually what most typology is, is characterizing or describing. But this is only one of five levels within psychosensitive typology. And lastly, we have a soul type, uh, one of seven, that uh, defines how we seek our meaning, how we seek uh, purpose in life and how we really connect to the heart of ourselves as a loving being. So psychosynthesis typology in some way have a, a fuller spectrum of human differences. But it's also important to say, even though we have a complex typology like psychosynthesis typology, uh, typology can never explain the full human being because we all have a unique background a country and a unique culture we, we come from. And this has molded us. It has, it has created also our uh, experience and our history. And another thing that typology isn't showing us is the maturity of the, the type. We all have different maturity ability to express the different levels in us. So there's a lot that typology don't cover but there's also a very, uh, uh, a very uh, many things that uh, the seven types actually can tell us. So I have two comments, Kenneth, to mm. what you just said. So are you later going to briefly go through the seven types yes, of this training? Okay, absolutely. Because you're going to do that, I'll just have a little invitation if you are listening, and for uh, for you <laughs> as well, Kenneth. Yes. So think about you know what type of person is it that you get triggered by? Mm. So maybe you have a memory of someone in your life at the moment, maybe someone at your workplace, your family members, your extended family, or maybe some someone in the past. Mm. So bear in mind, like think about that person and the qualities of that person you get mm. triggered by. Yeah. And when Kenneth goes through these seven types later in this live video, like see if you can have a feeling of which type that person mm. and you get a feeling of what type of energy you get triggered by. Exactly. And I think we could we could take a, 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 just a brief uh, going through uh, the, the seven types and what you can get triggered by. You know, the first type I would like to address is the dynamic type. The dynamic type is very much about will and power. And if you have that type of people around you, you will see they are leader types. They are really forceful and they can be quite dominated, uh, dominating. Mm -hmm. So perhaps you are triggered by very dominating people. Uh, this is very usual. Nobody really likes to be dominated. And, you know, the, dom the, the dynamic type, they can be quite forceful, but they are motivated actually by by doing things and get things done. And they have, a you know, a lot of fire within them. So it's not necessarily that they just that they want to dominate them you they very often is just so yeah, full of power and will and just want to get things done so this is one of the types do you recognize that type 
absolutely Kenneth and like we sometimes watch TV series <laughs> together in the yes. evenings and we always like to you know play with the, what the different characters are and you know immediately I can get triggered if if someone is very much this uh, dynamic leader mm. type because it's not necessarily someone who is patient to listen to your feelings etc mm. but i guess if you understand that we need leadership mm. you understand that okay this is not the person that will uh, cuddle you if you you know <laughs> feel mm. like emotional upset mm. but they have like this strength that you understand that mm. leadership is really necessarily and i guess if this is a person you get super triggered by to to connect more with your own leadership mm. you don't give your authority away so easily and you go, don't so easily get triggered mm. by this personality type yeah, exactly the second type is uh, the sensitive type full of love and 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 wisdom and uh, this type is very sensitive we call it also yes the sensitive type they are really very empathetic. They uh, feel a lot, but they can also be uh, oversensitive. And perhaps you will get very annoyed when you are uh, among people who are very sensitive and, and demand a lot of attention and perhaps uh, protection because they are so uh, sensitive. And if this is a trigger for you, then understand, yes, understand you have all the seven types within yourself. But this person uh, comes from a place where relationship and connection is very, very important. And uh, perhaps you can feel this type is uh, too uh, clingy or too needy or uh, too attention seeking in their, in their yeah, need for being in connection with you. So this could be a, uh, a, a problem for you. But, but also understand that this type is very important because they really want to make this world better by creating new and, and healthy relationships. No, you said that mm. well, Kenneth. And I just want to remind people, who, uh, if you look, look in, please tell us where you are because mm. it's such a fun thing for us to, to yeah. see. So, uh, and it would also be uh, funny to hear if you know any of these types uh, and recognize them in your surroundings. Uh, so let's let's go to the next type. Let's do that. The mental type. So we have the dynamic type based on will. We have the sensitive type based on feeling, and now we come to the mental type based on thought. And the mental type is very active. You know, they are very busy and they talk a lot. So if you are annoyed by people who talk a lot, you know, about everything, you know, and, uh, and are very, are very often busy and full of stress and short attention, then perhaps you are confronted with a mental type because they are so curious there there's so much to understand so much to discover so they can be all around uh, everywhere and uh, very hard to uh, yet yeah, to connect with and uh, they very often yeah, talk too much and if this is a problem for you please understand that these types are really good at connecting networks mm -hmm. they they know everything so you need this type to uh, to get to know where you get the best price for <laughs> different products and how to come from one location to the next you know they are a totally library i i can say can it like you know, know my family but mm. i feel i grew up in a culture that cultivated this type mm. and there was a lot about you know there was a lot of activity a lot of uh, networking and I can see that it came to a point in my life that this was quite triggering because I needed to develop more of the sensitive type mm. because if I was too active I felt so fragmented so for me to integrate so much more of the sensitive type then this is isn't necessarily a trigger anymore and I mm. can see the value Mm. Uh, of this type exactly they get a lot of things uh, done because mm -hmm. they they are so active and uh, has a very high work ethics too so um, yeah 
try to see their motivations. They are really curious and they really want to understand how the world functions. So that's why they are asking so much and why they are communicating that much. The next type is the fourth type is the creative type. The creative type is based on imagination or fantasy, the psychological function of, of imagination. And they are really fun. They are really, you know, imaginary. They, they, they're very social people and they also talk a lot uh, and they, they, they tell a lot of stories and uh, have a lot of things going on and know a lot of people and are very spontaneous and artistic people. Some of them can also be a more introvert. They really love beauty and they love uh, deep uh, connections, but they can also be quite uh, chaotic in their expression. They forget, you know, if you uh, if you have a some kind of a schedule with them, they come one hour late, or uh, they or they change the agenda because now they are in a different mood. So it can be quite difficult being around you know, a creative type because they they change their opinion uh, very often. Do you know someone <laughs> like that, uh, I know, I know <laughs> my wife. Uh, and if you are more structured people, you can be, you can, you can be very annoyed by a creative person. Exactly. It can be super triggering if you are this very, you know, scheduled, very tidy, very organized person. Mm. You can just be so triggered because it, you because you can see this person as quite chaotic and maybe you feel let down when they suddenly change direction or change appointment <laughs> or something like that yeah but it's very important to see where they come from they are very much motivated by the here and now they want to explore the possibilities of uh, the now so they are very much uh, motivated by all types of possibilities to have fun, to explore what goes what goes on in our relation, and it's never boring to be around a, a creative type. You know, there sometimes there are too much drama, but on the other hand, they bring in a lot of new energies, and they can really transform your life by, yeah, just expanding your horizon of what is uh, possible. And please. You know, when you hear us go through these different types, think about the people in your life mm. and also think about yourself. Yeah. And remember, you have these types, all of the types within you. Mm. And some of the types uh, you are more familiar with than others. Uh, so it would be very nice to hear, are there any one of these types that you have heard about uh, now that you recognize in yourself. Or that you get triggered by. Yeah, perhaps, yes. Okay, the fifth type mm -hmm. is uh, the... Oops, <laughs> fifth. Yeah, the fifth type is the analytical type. And it's based on logic. So we come from, from the creative type now to the analytical type. It's a very scientific type, you know. It's people, they really love facts. They really love to understand how the wor world functions in a detailed way. So you have these types, they are a little bit dry and socially they can be a little bit awkward, you know, uh, but they are, have a really good head. And you would, if you have a heart surgery, you would really like to, to, to have the doctor, you know, being, a, a, being a, an, an analytical type because they really can't, they really do the job they do in a very thorough way. They are very detailed and disciplined and uh, very, very reliable and serious. They know, you know, they, they are always some kind of an expert within their field. And you can really rely on these people uh, being uh, yeah, honest and serious. But you can also be very, very triggered by their critical mind. They can be absolutely ruthless if you come to them with your opinions that is not founded on facts or if you believe in fairy tales or believe in in something spiritual some of them will be very very critical and and you know narrow-minded and i just want to you know say that how um 
you know, they can have a really clarity about them and how they can also easily um, uh, just step out of emotional drama because mm. of this really clear head. So I just, you know, want to, uh, because like you say, we, our goal is to also have all of these types. So I just also want to um, mark the, or, or, um, or say that it's it's a lot of positive with this type as well. Absolutely, because what the, we can learn from this type is something about objectivity. You know, it's not all our subjective feelings and understanding that actually is true. So we really need that type in order to ground ourselves in reality. And this is where they come from. So if you have a problem with this type, then think about that they actually is uh, learning you to be more grounded and to uh yeah to relate to facts uh and that's important too yeah because i guess if you are a very creative and very enthusiastic person and you meet this mental type mm. maybe you feel that they're very critical uh or negative towards you mm. but the positive with having uh, a mental type is that you can't get fooled because you really check your facts you mm. don't get Sw uh, swoped away what is the word uh, yeah carried away carried away yes. by your emotions now because you also include all the facts mm. okay the next type is the dedicated type and uh, now we uh, and understand these type live in in some way in in different worlds so where the mm. uh, the analytical type live in the world of logic then the dedicated type live in the world of passion, passion and possibilities. So the dedicated type is full of desire, full of wishes, full of all types of dreams, and they can really see the future. And they have so much enthusiasm going on. And uh, you cannot, you know, uh, they, they can also be quite noisy. Uh, when they start <laughs> agitating and they you usually see them as activists or they believe in something it could be the local football team it could be the religion it could be the vegan type of people you know they are always on a mission out there and they want to uh, convert you into their uh, private uh, little uh, assembly you see me laugh it's because <laughs> you have a lot of that i have a lot of that yes and uh, so they are the missionaries of the world uh, within politics or um, yeah all all type of ideals and you you could be very annoyed by these people because they are also very loud and they try to convince you about what is right and what is wrong and uh, it's uh, quite a bit annoying to to have that type of very they are very they have a high temper you know they can be very angry and very emotional create a lot of dramas uh, so they can also be difficult to uh, to be around especially i guess if you're a mental type mm. it yeah. can be a lot <laughs> Yeah, because the mental type is cool and this guy or woman is very, very emotional invested. But it's also important to see where they come from. They really are loyal people and they really want the best. They really want to achieve something that is good and beautiful and right. So to they also have the place, uh, and I'm a dedicated personality type myself, so I really know that, that type. And please share with us along the way. I know mm. that probably some of you that watch that this is completely new for you, but some of you probably know this already. So, so uh, please share with us mm. uh, um, what you identify with. Yeah. And the last type we will cover here today is the practical type. And the practical type is based on action. Uh, so they are very organizational, you know, they are really the doers of the world. They, they, they are typically the, the one that, uh, that organize the events for the family, you know. They uh, bring all the people and the resources together and create a birthday party. Or on job, they are the organizing people that really secure that everything works down into details. 
and they really like to have control. And you can see them in the way they dress, you know, you can. everything yeah. is just in order. It sits perfect. The hair is done and they are really very diplomatic people. You know, they don't, they don't like to go to excesses because they are afraid of losing their control and they can be a bit rigid. Uh, so being around that person can be a really annoy, annoying if you are a very creative type or you just want to hang around and don't do anything. Then having these people around can be, yeah, you feel that you are in some way supervised by a big dad or a big mom. And uh, that's, that, that could be uh, yeah, annoying for some. Can I, I just remember a thing because we have a good friend that is this type yes. and you know like you say how they dress they always look so perfect and I just remember a couple of years ago because sometimes when I went to custom in when we were at the airport I always felt so chaotic like where is my passport where is this and that and I remember we had this little game we played like we were this uh, you call it practical type yes yeah you know, this super organized like mm. at the airport uh, yeah yeah and this is actually something we do in our relationship we play the types uh, in order to bring them into our life and uh, it's really fun when we learn to see uh, the different character uh, the different character or, or, or types uh, going in and out and and, and play the, playing them so we have these seven types. We have the dynamic type uh, related to the psychological function of will. We have the sensitive type related to the psychological function of feeling. We have the mental type related to the psychological uh, function of thought. We have the creative type related to uh, imagination. The, we have the uh, analytical type related to logic. And we have the uh, dedicated type related to passion or desire, and we have the practical type related to action or sensation. Yeah, and we can see them. Yeah, them all here. If you want to know more about uh, the seven types, and this is only a teaser, this is only a very short and brief introduction to the types, and uh, we hope that you have in some way, uh, yeah got some insight of what, where, the, where they come from. So when you encounter that type, either within yourself, because we, can, we have all the seven types in us, and sometimes we find it difficult to relate to, uh, to the types within. Perhaps we have some kind of an anchor within, and perhaps this is a repressed dynamic type mm. or a repressed uh, dedicated yeah. type. But perhaps we have a very sensitive, hypersensitive uh, inner side. This could be uh, the sensitive repressed type. So we have all these types and on five levels, but we will not go into all these details this time. We only want to give you a flavor of uh, yeah, how they, how they come, come out in, in our relationships. And hopefully you get a little taste of these different types and hopefully you get a little feeling mm. of maybe some of them you could recognize yourself in, mm. maybe some of them you could recognize is a trigger. And again, please share with us mm. because it would be so nice to see what type of people is drawn to this. Maybe you are similar to us. Maybe you uh, have some completely <laughs> different types. So that yeah. would be fun to to. And uh, I have uh, already now, uh, in the commentary field, giving you a lot of links to uh, to the book review, and you could also, if you type uh, types in the coming field, mm. then I will send the introduction from my book, the seven types, to you. So, in the commentary field, if you want to receive the introduction uh, for my new book, up, uh, so you can al already order it now, but then type types. T I P E S. Then I will send the introduction from the book, so you can have a feel of what the book is all about. So this is you, Kenneth, have opened up for more of this uh, analytical, this 
three so you have uh, developed this so yes. how do you pronounce <laughs> <laughs> that you... my inner marketing uh... yeah <laughs> uh so how do you pronounce types just to make people t t y p e s mm. yes okay i think it was uh, good enough for today mm -hmm. we will be back uh and uh, if you have any questions about the types just bring them on. I will uh, use uh, uh, half an hour afterwards and answering any question you, uh, you might like to, to have and, and, and stay around this. And stay tuned on this channel, uh, like it and follow uh, the channel and you will get notifications when we go live again. So... And, and Kenneth, because we, we have showed your book, Yes. So, and if you type, uh, put in types, you get the introduction. But if someone wants to buy the book that they find is so interesting, how is that part of your link? Yeah, it's part of my link and it's available on Amazon.com uh, and on Barnes and Noble. But you will have all the link uh, uh, in the link, uh, yeah, which I have already published. Mm. Okay, have a great day. Have a great day. Yeah. Bye-bye.